Hi everyone, I'm Kevin, the creator of Paper Clay, a 3D collectathon set in a world made out of paper, cardboard, clay, and other handcrafted materials. You play as a clay chicken and a paper chicken to find the lost eggs across the world. I have a Steam page, it would mean the world if you would give Paper Clay a wish list. Anyway, let's get going with this devlog. After about 16 months, I finally figured out what game I'm making. Crazy, I know. In today's video, I'm going to talk about character controller, camera updates, and some new exciting tech that I've created, or at least put a name on. I hope you're sitting down because this is going to be fun. 16 months to know what game I'm making might sound strange, but I've talked with friends in the industry and they have similar experience with some of their games. They're working on it and testing things out, but it can take a while before things are really click for them. And once it does, everything falls into place. June 2023 is by far the biggest month for Paper Clay to date. And let me explain. I've had the idea where each world has an open area and then two linear levels for a long time now. But the question about what the collectibles really do is something I haven't really had an answer to until now. So the biggest goal in order to progress to the next world is to collect a certain amount of eggs. You can get some of them in the open areas and then in the linear levels as well. In the open areas you can help various characters with their problems, be rewarded with orbs and also find some if you explore to encourage exploration. You then use these orbs to unlock linear levels. The coins however could possibly be spent on some character that will sell you his egg that he found or you might need a small fee in order to get to the next world after you have enough eggs that is. Like the way you get to the next world is by boat and you need a ticket. Once this all clicked for me the rest of the game started to unfold. Speaking of unfolding that is exactly what I stumbled upon a few days later. I felt that something was missing from paper clay that would help make it stand out more next to other 3D platformers. I felt for a long time that Paper Clay was just a 3D platformer with paper cardboard aesthetics. So I tried to really look at what Paper Clay could do that other 3D collectathons couldn't. I'm calling it Paper Tech. Feels more established to me if I put a name on it, helps me lean into it more. So you'll be seeing more of the world unfold as I figure out strength of this approach. I still have some ideas I want to explore, such as books falling from the sky and books opening up and leading the way, or house opening up and extending deeper. I've been on a creative role lately and I'm just really trying to embrace it and get everything down on paper. This unfolding thing really made me think that Paper Clay could be the only collectathon that unfolds itself as you play it. Just a quick side note that if you want to support Paper Clay on Steam, this is like my sixth take or something like that. Uh, you can wishlist Paper Clay on Steam let steam know and val that there's an audience for the game you can tell your friends about it they might like it maybe just maybe the algorithm will show the game to more people in the end that will make me very happy because i like numbers okay back to the video i decided i wanted to go back to the character controller and update it to make sure that the three c's were as close to perfection for paper clay as i could make it the three c's stands for character controls camera I wanted to make sure that it was fun to just run around in a grey box environment. I started with the visuals of the character, I hadn't touched the model since the first month of development, which was around February 2022. I added more polygons and tried to make him look a little bit more like the key art. In order to help the character do more expressions, I changed the face into a flat one where I can easily swap out the eyes and eyebrows depending on what emotions need to be shown. I have plans to make a separate model for the mouth so we can talk easier but we'll see how that goes. In order to make the character feel more nice as you jumped and landed I made the character squash and stretch. It was quick to add but my friend Connie helped me tweak some values which really made a difference. One last cool thing I added was a dynamic point of interest as you walk by so now the character can look at objects in the environment. This could be characters or just flowers that bounce that the character wants to look at. There's a weight system to this, so some objects can be more important if they happen to be multiple objects within range. Quite cool idea, but I still have some small bugs to fix, as you can see. For the camera updates, my friend Rigby, who's making a game called Gooby, in his latest devlog he talks about the camera rework, and I was very inspired by it. 
and move the camera back a little and adjusted the focus point in order to frame the player better on the screen. Made sure the camera didn't follow you as you jumped, but instead waited until you landed again on a different height. I did, however, add a little follow while you're in the air, but it's not that noticeable. For me, it felt like a nice touch, obviously. There are some cases where you need to solve the glider, triple jump, and so on. But if I look back on it now and compare, it's night and day. So big thanks to Rigby for inspiring me with this. I knew the controller had some bugs, so I wanted to go over them and fix them. I won't go into details over every small bug, but there was one that was interesting. Hanging on moving objects or rotating ones. How I fixed it was when you started to hang on something, I placed that temporary point as a child in the hierarchy under that object and just made sure that the player followed that point which means that if the object is moving or rotating, the player will follow along. Then I just had to check if it's rotating, rotate the visuals of the character. I do the same thing when you're standing on top of objects that are rotating, so I just use the same script there. Fairly easy once I figured out how to approach this. Someone requested that if you ground slam and jump right after, you should get a higher jump, just like you do with the triple jump. It was a quick fix, so I figured it wouldn't hurt anyone. Now, probably the biggest thing I did and I'm not 100% sure it's final, I removed the sprint button and made the character run faster in general. I do think it's for the better, but I keep trying to sprint, but that might just be my muscle memory acting up. I need to test on more people soon to get a wide range of opinions. I've sent out a few builds with some close friends to get their honest opinion, and so far it's been great in terms of the size of the area and how long it takes to complete it. Obviously, it's not a fully representative of what you do in an open area, but it's close. With more characters and decoration, I think it's going to be a nice experience. My confidence is on top right now, and I'm mentally prepared for it all to come crashing down in the near future. I hope not, but you know how it goes up and down. I'm really happy with how it feels to run around and navigate a level. I will probably go over some small things as the development continues. So about June 2023 being the biggest month for paper clay, it's also about social media. I've had several tweets do really well, which made me happy that people like what I'm making. It cemented the ideas I had for myself about the paper unfolding. But then came the big one. Opinions about keeping momentum when standing on rotating objects. I loved this. One second, someone could say, keep the momentum, and the second after, Another reply came in and said, no, the momentum should not be kept. There were a lot of people that had good opinions. I myself wanted to try and see if I knew how to even implement it. Once it was in the game, it felt right. I probably won't have that fast rotating objects anyway, but it might be nice to have just a tiny bit. I want to thank everyone for being so supportive. The direction of paper clay is going now feels really good to me. I'm so excited. I keep saying this, but I want to try to make more devlogs and not wait until I get to a new milestone before I make the next video. You all know that the best way to support Paper Clay is to wishlist it on Steam and tell your friends about it. Someone you think would like it. Thank you. That's it for this video. Please take care and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.